Hi. Hi Shiner, do you wanna join us for the video? Adjust the uh, angle a little bit. This is my brand new camera. This is the first video that I'm filming on my EOS M6 Mark II camera. So far I'm loving it after just a couple seconds. Anyway, so today, as you can tell from the title, I am doing an iPhone 12 unboxing. To be really honest with you, I was not planning on getting the iPhone 12 at all. I had kind of gotten past the phase where I was like, I have to have the new, for, you know, the newest phone and the newest this and the newest that. I had just kind of been like, you know what, I have a phone, it works, and there's no need for me to get the iPhone 12. Hold on, this is really bothering me. So, back to my story. Um, I really didn't want the new phone. I really didn't feel like I needed the new phone until I walked into Sam's and I was with my mom who constantly tells me, Mallory, you need a new phone. Your phone is constantly going in and out on FaceTime or when I'm calling you, I'm constantly having to piece together what you say. Your phone's always breaking up. And then today, for example, my phone went to 20% battery by 11.30 in the morning and I woke up at eight. So three, and I was not using it that entire time. I was with the baby, I was cleaning the kitchen, I was working on my computer. So the fact that it got to 20% in three and a half hours shocked me. Um, but it's just, to be very honest with you, if I had to buy this phone again, I would not buy this phone again. It's just been kind of trouble since we bought it. But anyway, so I walked into Sam's with my mom. Uh, when was that? Saturday? Saturday. Yes. I walked into Sam's with my mom on Saturday and there was an AT&T representative there and he said, hey, would you like to get the new iPhone for $3? And I, my mom said, no, no, thank you. And he was like, are you sure? And he started to kind of tell the deal to her and she was like, oh, thanks, but no thanks. And we kind of walked off and I said, you know, I could probably use a new phone. Robbie and I have paid off our phones and she said, then you should go talk to him because it's not like you have to like roll anything into a new payment. Your phone is paid off. So I thought, okay. So I went and talked to him and the deal that they were having is if you turn in your iPhone, it doesn't matter, I think it didn't matter which generation it was, as long as it was worth $95, they would give you $700 off the new iPhone. And because we were in Sam's and my mom has a Sam's membership, they gave it to her for set or gave it to me for $750 off. So the way that it works is the first two months I will pay the regular price, so about $25 a month. Then I will get a refund of $50 and start paying $3 a month for the brand new iPhone 12. Um, I did have to pay tax on the phone, which was about $66. And then also I bought, of course, because I would, I cannot walk around without a case. So I just bought a really simple one from Heyday. It's like pale, pale pink, and I figured I could put a really cute, uh, this says for new iPhone. I really hope this is gonna work for the one that I've got. We'll have to see. Um, anyway, I got a dusty pink case, which I'm hoping that it's gonna fit because I'm realizing now that it doesn't have the exact like iPhone 12 on it, but we'll just have to see. It's also wireless charging compatible, which I like because my car has that charging pad in the front, which is super, super helpful. But if you have like too thick of a case or you have a pop socket on there, it won't work. So I like it because I can go ahead and easily put a vinyl anything on here to make it more jazzy. And this was like 15 bucks at Target. This, however, was the more expensive one. This is the OtterBox Amplify, Amplify Glass Anti-Scratch um, Screen Protector. No. Yes, screen protector. And then this one does say iPhone 12 at the bottom. I ended up getting the iPhone 12, not the iPhone 12 Pro, or the iPhone 12 Max. They also have an iPhone 12 mini. So if you're like me and you have little hands, I do not like the fact that I can't type all the way. Anyway, so if you're like me and you don't like the fact that you have little hands and you can't type all the way, you can't get all the way over to the keyboard, they have an iPhone mini. It is very small though. It's the size of the iPhone 5. So if you liked the iPhone 5, it's the perfect fit for you. I thought it was a little too small for me. However, I was excited to see that this phone is supposed to be, you couldn't pick up the ones that were in Sam's, but it's supposed to be a little bit smaller than the one that I have now. So it looks like this. Ooh. I ended up getting the white color, just something really, really simple because I knew I'd put a case over it anyway. Let's see. Now what they told me in the store was, because they mailed this to me. I bought it Saturday, it got here. Today's December 1st, it's Tuesday. Ah! Let me just do that with y'all. Okay. I have not been watching any of these iPhone 12 unboxings, but I've seen that there are so many, so I don't know exactly how you're supposed to do this. You just like, voila. I don't know. Anyway, so um, it got here in two days. So it got here pretty quickly. I'm supposed to back up my phone and then from there, oh, I forgot, they don't give you a block, a charging block with the new one, which if you've had iPhones before, it doesn't matter because, but wait a second. 
This is not the same. They give you an iPhone. You can use your old iPhone chargers, but they do not give you a block and this side, this side, which would normally go to the block, the USB is not a USB. So, I don't know, I'm gonna have to ask my husband about that. But, here it is, very beautiful. I have to back it up and then they're going to send me a box once I've activated this and that box is where I will then put my old phone and send it back. It is very pretty. If you could call a phone pretty, it's very pretty. One thing I do love is the fact that it's more square edges now, it's not the rounded edges, and it's very square. The camera is supposed to be the same. Yeah, they look the same. The camera is the same for both of them. This is the 11, here's the 12. But... I don't know if there's anything that's super, super different. Not really, except for the fact that the, the sides are rounded. I'm gonna try and turn it on. Okay. I have done that. Did they give me any kind of like tape to reseal the box? What? I don't know. Oh, here's the, okay. So I guess I just send it back in this one. Act. Activate now. Get started. Getting started is easy. This is all turning on. So, okay. They sent me this little thing so that I could activate it I'm, since I'm not going to be in the store. Robbie just went to the store and got his activated. Getting started is easy. Simply go to att.com slash get started and select the device, SIM card, or accessory you want to activate. But I think I'm supposed to back this up and I don't know how to do that. So I might have to wait for Robbie to get here. Now you're ready to activate your phone. Start with the new device powered off. Whoops, let me turn it off. Choose from the following options. If you're a new customer and not transferring, let's see, okay, turning it off. If you're a new customer and not transferring your number from another provider, skip to step three. If you're transferring your number from another provider or activating a new or replacement device, please go to the AT&T phone activation site. Activating your new device will interrupt service on your current device. You recently received this device. Is this device, this the device you're activating and do the IMEI? Huh? I've successfully activated this device. Now I gotta see if everything's on this one. I really should have waited for Robbie to come because I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, obviously it's a different day and honestly, I think it's been about two weeks since I filmed that first portion of this video, my unboxing. As you saw, it was kind of a hot mess. There was a lot going on that night. It finally did transfer everything. I think that's where it got stuck if I remember correctly. It transferred everything. I've been using it now for a while. I really like it. I love that it is so incredibly light. I love that it's not all that heavy at all. It's really lightweight. Um, I think it's maybe a little bit smaller, but I still haven't been able to decipher if that's the truth or not, but overall I'm really happy with it. Also, I had the iPhone 11 and a lot of times when I would FaceTime my mom, she would be like, you're breaking up, you're breaking up, and it would just drive us both crazy. With this one, this hasn't happened and my sister also has an iPhone 11 and I've witnessed it happen from the other side with her phone. So yes, this is, thankfully this is not an issue with the iPhone 12. So I figured I would go ahead and end this video by showing you kind of a screen recording of how I am setting up my home screen or back screen or whatever you want to call it. What is it called? With widgets and things. Um, I already have all my widgets on there, but I want to show you how I'm going to change like the background and the different color schemes and things like that for Christmas time and for winter. So I'm going to scooch over and I'm gonna put my screen right here. The first thing I wanna do is go in and change my color of my reminders app. So I use, as you can see, an app called Widget Smith, and I actually have two of them going. So I have one for the date and one for my reminders or my list. Um, and I wanna change this. Obviously I'm gonna change it to something that has to do with Christmas. That one might be, oh, it's a pale pink. Honestly, I think I'm really liking that one. So let's keep going and make sure. Yeah, let's just keep it with, they call it dark red. So we'll keep that. Um, I do wanna keep my 
tint color the same and I want to keep my border color white. Let's see, let's look at the different fonts. Mm. I'm just going to keep it with what it is, the, the system, no, New York. It seems very clean to me, which I like. And then I'm going to go and do something with the date. I don't know, maybe we should turn this one green and see how it looks. Background color. I could do like this color green. Okay, border color white. If they had like a cream border color, oh wait, you can do custom. Mm -hmm. well, let's just keep it white just to be safe. Okay, so let's take a look and see how that looks. Okay, I like it. Now, uh, I have this widget smith or this photo widget up here. Avery, I have no idea what that is. Probably something that Avery accidentally did. So this is the previous album that I had. Please create a new album for each widget to use album. What? Please create a new album to use album for each widget and limited photos. I have no idea what that means, but I am going to add a couple color, a couple pictures to that. So I'm going to add this picture. And this actually is um, all of Avery's months. So I need to add the one that actually says eight month and seven month is not on here. You can't see the dog, but she just came and sat down right next to me. So I'm going to add that. And I have a whole album for Avery. So I can go in and pick the different months. There's a Santa picture we can add. Here is seven months, and then I think I even forgot to add six months. Here it is. Okay, so I have one month, two month, three month, four month, five month, six month, seven month, eight months. Perfect, okay. So that should be good there. Now, the last thing that I wanna do is, I'm gonna have to clean all of this up later on. The last thing I wanna do is go in, and I was looking for them earlier, Go in and find a background that's minimalist. I don't like something that's super, super busy. That's kind of pretty, but what are you doing? I was seeing if Shotzi was in the shot. Oh. Let's see. Well, this isn't showing me. Okay. Ooh, that's kind of a neat one. There used to be an action I thought where you could save it to like just automatically be your desktop picture. I guess you have to go in and do that from your phone now or from your pictures now. So let's try this. And I think it might go really well with the colors that we used. Use as wallpaper. Set. Ooh, yeah, I really like that. Not only is it Christmassy, but it's also very wintry. Awesome. So I think that's what it's going to be. Okay, so that's it. That's my iPhone 12 unboxing and then two weeks later decorating of it. So guys, I want to thank you. So oh, I scared the dog. We want to thank you guys so much for watching our video today and for tuning into Vlogmas. But until next time, I love you all and God bless you. Come all evening.